Toilets are not supposed to be able to move like this. If you got a rocking toilet, then you got some problems. And as usual, whenever you go to start doing something pretty simple, it always turns into a nightmare job. However, I think this nightmare is a lot bigger than just a plumbing problem. I've been doing this job for a long time. I've pulled many toilets, cleaned many flanges, but I have never ever in my life seen this many worms underneath someone's toilet. Yes, you heard that correct. There are worms underneath this person's toilet flange. The wax ring failed, which rotted out the old repair flange, and this is just a breeding ground for worms to come in and live there. So in order to fix it, we're going to use this flange by Odie that goes into the pipe, and then we bolt it to the old cast iron. Once it's bolted, we tighten these Allen keys. There's a rubber gasket that seals to the inside of the pipe. Then we'll grab an Odie shutoff valve and supply line and install that for the customer just for future service. We'll get the water back on, and we'll throw in a new set of bolts and a new wax ring. These two products will ensure that the toilet will not rock and no water will leak out. Then we'll reset the toilet, flush all this liquid lock out, and sometimes we cut the bolts, sometimes we don't. I'm going to let you guess what I did here. I didn't cut them. 